Alright, so what it is? Random 14, YC 14, 14, so crazy. I'm gonna be reacting to IDK album or project. It's simple. It's the title of the project. Apparently, it's under it's under the genre of electronic, which I wasn't actually paying attention to. It just surprised me. I did hear Dog Food with Denzel Curry. That was very good. I like the bridge on that. I liked how like the um, vocals are kind of low fi too. Let's see what the vibe is of the whole thing. The only thing to find out is the only way to find out is um, just getting into it with the first song. With the first song being drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell this is electronic actually by the year. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a Kanye West song. Hey, uh, this one Southeast. It's a virus which might be in the tool. Is that got a weird groove to it? It's like, like the snares are not usually where they're supposed to be. My only problem with this album, like everything sounds great apart from like the drums. Um, the drums sound cool, however, it's like it seems it's just all offbeat. It's like just randomly I picked up this. Which one? Quantize it. That's what it sounds like. Apart from dog food, that actually seems um, more put together. But like, apart from that, like the structure is cool. Um, IDK's voice when it comes to singing is cool, and he could rap too. So he's got like the full package. Of course, um, and I'm saying like, um, I I have heard one of his albums, which was "Use for Yourself," and it was the first part I used for yourself. Uh, the first version even I did like that I was expecting I was expect I was I don't even know why I brought that up I just heard it that's my introduction to YDK I guess um yeah so it's just the drums the drums are the floor of these songs except for the but the instruments sound cool it's got a little bit Transitions are like transitions are flowing. I don't know what word to say. This this 
song if it's this room. Very psychedelic. It reminds me of um it reminds me of these walls and the Alka song. Some playlistic Cadillac. I like this one. Oh, it's it's from um Seven Playlist the Cadillac music. The song was called Funky Ride. This one's called Taco. I don't see this album being a 10 out of 10, but it is like a good like if someone needs Will be a good reference point. This one's the cold feature in white dives. Three women weep all for the come up. Five cops looking for someone. Three new arrests. Two ain't even done none. That's rule number one. Well, let's go. City nigga broke. A few of them might dance, but none of them told a joke. I'm too worried. The Bluetooth. Device is ready to tell. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. If this one's got a music video, I reckon it's gone crazy. Three women weep all for the come up. Five cops. Alright, so what I thought about that, um, I'm gonna do debating still. But what I thought about that was like it's a good experience and a good reference point to like either have IDK. Um, have him a bigger better album this like double up on this or like somebody else like might be inspired it's a very good like it, it is a good project i do like the idea i don't see it being a 10 out of 10 though um okay let's go rate him all right so i've done rating him um was that with the cover art? How did I feel about the cover art? I'll tell you right now. That's the cover art. And when I'm like, when I think about like how a cover art is good, it tends to be like how the vinyl would look. Because if you see the future reaction, I talk about that being a 10 out of 10. Um, because it's and and the back the track list that he showed for it, that that's a probably gonna be a great vinyl if that comes out. Um so yeah that that's so with the album flowing well with the good transitions with the album flowing well with the good transitions and a nice ass cover art. Being, being this like this I don't know what this is but it's great this works the cover art generates the vibe of the album perfectly and it doesn't ruin it in fact it increases the uniquity of the album um, which makes this experience better so with the cover art being great the duration not being too long at Maybe a little bit too short, but it like it flows. Um, with all that and the best songs being "Dog Food," "Breathe," and "The Cold," the whole album is six point five out of ten, meaning that it's better than better than the Jack Harlow album, which I gave in that good. Better than LMA album, which is six point four. And just as good as the future one, which is 6.5. Reason being as good as the future one is because the future one had some misses on the, and I feel like that's the kind of vibe that it's on. Um, but the best album that I've rated so far is a 7.8, which goes to the Kendra Lamar album. I'm really wondering what's going to be my first 10 out of 10. Okay, bye.